your film, did the CIA get to read the script? Whoa. Um, and <laughs> did they have any rights of approval or? Uh, Judge, you want to feel that one? <laughs> um, no, let's, honestly, because I'm undercover for the CIA pretty, right now. And this is a pretty I mean, serious. I'm, I'm pulling saying, an Argo with this this whole thing. I'm just saying, you know. This may is as well pretty get it out there. Serious yeah. subject. So I'm curious. Did, did it they? is a serious subject. Look, we made the movie uh, independently. Uh, one of the things that everybody knows when you make a movie with the studio and it involves the military, uh, there's some give and take there creatively. We decided to forego all that, forego the helicopters, forego the bases, and m make the movie out in the Middle East without any sort of government. So there was no official government vetting or submitting, or it was just the filmmakers um, kind of doing their thing. Do you show Osama bin Laden in the film? Uh, well, I don't want to. I don't want to get out ahead of the marketing yeah, of the no, movie. No, I understand, here, but, 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 I, <laughs> but I'm coming to another question. So, but, but do you show him at all in, in the film? I think that don't I would love. Him. I would love don't for tell people. Him. Thank you. <laughs> I, I don't want love, to know what. I they think show. it's a really good, an interesting question. It's an interesting creative choice, and I would love to have this conversation with you after you see the movie. Okay. So then, my next question is: If you were going to show Osama bin Laden. Um, to what extent do you humanize a guy like that? Um, there was a very good German film, Downfall, about the last days of Hitler. And it was an extraordinary human portrait of Hitler. And the dangers always, well, isn't there this conflict between you know, an artistic challenge of showing a, a person in his full humanity and then having the danger of whitewashing what right. he's done. Right. So m my question is, let's take, let's take it on the theoretical level. If it weren't Osama bin Laden, would you feel you have to humanize that person? I not? wouldn't even know how to begin to do that movie, to be honest with you. I, I like to write about things that I know or people that I've met or field research that I've done. So in, in this case, the movie follows people that were involved in the hunt. And those are the people that I feel m m most able to write about. So I, I've help. never, I've never even approached a project like that, like a, <clears throat> like a, 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 a historical figure that you can't meet or talk to, like Lincoln or what. I, I wouldn't even know how to begin. To, that's just not. But it yeah, helped I, that you hired Alan Arkin to play Bin Laden. <laughs> would, would it help? <laughs> it helped that you hired Alan Arkin to play Bin Laden. <laughs>